Hi one and all, this is Hybrid Steel. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. Today we're going to be doing the Sykeson... Okay, so we're going to be doing this car today. It's the Sykeson. I'm not very good at pronunciation, so someone fill me in on this one. I don't know what it is, but we're doing it today. It's all good. Oh wow, it's a bit of a rust heap, isn't it? That's, um, wow. Okay, cool. Let's get this into the garage. Let's see what we can do with it, because I think it's going to need a lot of work. Body frame and interior are yet to be desired. 78% in parts, which actually you're right, means the car's pretty solid. I'm hoping. Oh, I can actually be swapped out as well. That's nice. We've got three pages of parts to find. Repair the body parts, because there are things missing on this car. Obviously, we've got to drain the oil. Spray with the factory paint. Change brake fluid, coolant. Change power steering. Change your windshield washer. Perform wheel alignment and headlamp alignment. Oh, Grand is all I have to say. Everything on that we need the tail light, side mirror, headlight, window, headlight, and t doesn't bode well, does it, when you can't perform the necessary repairs on all the equipment you already have? So I'm not gonna give a damn. Right, okay, cool. We're gonna, I'm gonna put all this back together now because this is gonna be horrendous. <laughs> Okay, first job, done the, uh, yeah, oh dear, it says repair parts with minimum condition of 89%, the entire body of this car is under even 20%, it's almost like I would have to buy an entirely new section, but I don't really want to, unless it comes up on the parts not disclosed section, it's just not worth doing. So we all know what we're doing now, basically we're going to take all the liquids out of the car first, then we can strip it down. By the looks of it, I mean the undercarriage of this car is actually pretty solid, rear suspension looks really good, I think the front end is pretty good as well, I think what we're looking at is mostly engine material here, so what I'll do is, uh, actually, you know what, whilst I'm here, does this car start? We're going to be testing this car just a little bit, because <laughs> everything's broken. Okay, I'm going to put this through the testing path first, and then we'll, uh, we're we going to rip into this, basically. So, yeah, let's move this over to test path, and then we can be alright. The engine can't be started. Yes, it can. I just did it. Anyway, okay, screw it then. We'll take it back to lift one. Okay, so apparently, the engine cannot be started, even though I just did a compression test and started the engine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan through the whole lot first off and make sure everything's working. Uh, obviously, you get a little bit of XP for doing this as well, which is good, but you also get to test everything. I was a little bit apprehensive about this, but I did, if you look at the fuel tank at the back, that looks a bit broken, the fuel pump's gone. Top suspension, so the suspension might need changing on this as well, fuel filter's gone. That's supposed to be coolant. Oh, it looks like Shrek's wee wee. Right, we're gonna have to empty this. I mean, that's just a. Re While we're down here, we will take the filter off and we'll replace that whilst we're here. Actually, if I just take it off and then if I need to if I need to strip the engine down, then we can do that and we can replace. But this all looks like it's in good nick. This is just for my own sanity of testing. A little bit of wear on the crankshaft, but I think it's going by my notes. Crankshaft's gone. And that's the crankshaft. So we are gonna have to strip the whole engine down just to get to the crankshaft bloody marvellous right okay cool because of this piece here the crankshaft 14b we're gonna have to strip the whole engine 
okay? This means all of these parts that we're going to have to find are in the engine. I'm going to strip all of this down. I'm going to give you the parts list afterwards, but literally your entire thing with this car is the engine. Okay, cool. Let's get into this then, shall we? And then I'm going to take the block out, just just for reasons mainly. Yeah, I mean, if I'm going to have to rebuild it, I might as well take this out now. There we go, cool. Right, should we have a look at this now? Parts list, boom. Okay, so... Oh, you've got to be joking me. There's one part on this car I haven't taken out that's causing a problem. I think we found it. Yeah, we found it. Okay, cool. Right. Full parts list for this car starts with the ABS pump, the battery, the crankshaft, the crankshaft bearing cap, bearing, crankshaft bearing cap, engine head 14B, front shock absorber cap, front shock absorber cap, fuel filter, fuel pump, fuel rail 14B, fuel rail 14B, then we got the fuel rail 14B, fuel rail 14B, fuel tank intake manifold 14B, oil filter 14, piston rings and pistons with con rods, piston with con rod, radiator fan housing, rod cap, rod cap and a rod cap. Basically, the engine. Right, so what I've got to do, what the, the first thing you should really do now is um, you've got to take apart these because the caps were knackered, so you have to put the suspension back together as well. Now, you'll get, you're at this point in the game the same as me, so what you want to do is you just want to try and repair everything. The reason why you want to repair stuff, it'll save you money in the long run, and repairing is much, much better than spending out on all those brand new parts that just cause more and more havoc. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to repair all this, then we'll go for a shopping list, then we'll put the engine back together, and then we've got to go and do the other stuff for the car. So I'll get through this. Um, you won't see it. It's all good. All good. So as you can see, we've still... Uh, if I click on this and go to condition, we've cleaned up as much as we could up this end. Um, basically we're going to start buying stuff from here which is the front shock cap and then we only have to go through two pages of red stuff well mainly just one page because it's only one item there so we actually did a decent job when it came to repairing this as well as said they didn't really care about the body panels as long as the things went back on that was fine so I'm going to make a shopping list now and then we'll buy this stuff and put it back in the car it does seem to be though that you cannot repair anything that's red so these are all going to have to be rebought. that is a bit of a shame it is the joys. I didn't put the battery on the shopping list because I actually I can actually repair the battery myself. So you recharge it and then you'd saved yourself a couple of quid.
So for all those out there who have made it all the way through that little bit there, so these are the parts as you've already seen. So there's page three, there's page two, there's page one. We've done the body panels, we've changed the oil. Now we've got to do is spray the car with factory paint and other tasks. The problem I'm going to have with that is that this car is ugly. I'm hoping that we can still pay it, we can still paint it. Car is dirty and un unprepared for paint job. Do you want to prepare the car? Yes. Apparently that's good enough. I mean it looks horrific. I don't like it. But I wasn't I wasn't told to do anything else. All right, next off, test path. So while we're here, we got to do the wheel alignment. And headlights okay so because <laughs> this I, I need to do this I'm sorry it just it gives the chassis done and this guy now knows that his panels are diabolical now obviously it for me this isn't a finished car I'd, I'd be replacing the license plates there and I've I've, I'm fighting my own problems so I don't do this but the thing that's got me is the fact I'm getting paid 17,800 for this now we started with 20 grand we've spent 5,000 4,600 credits renovating this car new parts but we repaired quite a lot of the parts ourselves um, the most expensive part was the engine head and so for that's actually not a bad thing so having that as a task bonuses and normal bonus and 17,800 in the pocket by just repairing parts mainly. That's a good payday for me. So that's been. Oh, let's make it. <laughs> All good. Cha ching! 33,300. That's how much we got left after that job. That was bloody good. So the, for the car that I couldn't pronounce, that was a good payday. Okay, so because you've made it to the end of this, I'm going to choose somebody who's subscribed to the channel. I want you guys to just write this word in a comment. So you've got your normal comment, and I want you to write Elwood Armstrong. That's just one person who's subscribed to this channel. It's been most appreciated to every single one that's out there, and I might keep doing this. So thank you very much for kicking in. I'll see you all later. Peace out, have fun, and enjoy everything you guys do. Bye-bye for now.